What's up, guys? And welcome back to 2K. So uh, today should be a good day. I believe we might be cracking the starting five. We've got a meeting with Coach here in a second. But it uh, looks like Jake Duvall, the kind of cringy actor that we've been talking to the last couple of episodes, he's got some sort of a radio show or something. He tweeted, love watching MP play. Soon everyone's going to be talking about how lucky we are that he fell to us. Superstar in the making. We've got an audio clip here. Video clip. Welcome to the Jackson Ellis Show, baby. Jackson and today Ellis. we have a special guest. The man, the myth, the fan, the actor, the legend, Jake Duval. <laughs> thanks for taking time away from battling mutant squids to join us, Jake. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Jay. But uh, the squids were last movie. This time I'm saving Prague from shape-shifting beetles. At least that's what they seem like at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same difference. <laughs> ah, not exactly. Now, let me ask you a question. Sure. On a scale of one to fire everybody right now, how mad are you with the fact that we just drafted MP when Shep was right there for the taking? I mean, Shep is built for this city. We all seen what happened to him and Park. Look, is Shep more athletic? Yes. Yes. Is Shep a dynamic player? Absolutely. He is. Was Shep the guy we should have drafted? Of course. No. My man. Say what now? Listen, Shep is going to give you highlights. I won't deny that. But I got to tell you, Jackson, MP is the real deal. Every day, every play, this kid is locked in. He goes all out. <sighs> to make up for his lack of athleticism. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but while he's compensating, he's also elevating. And I mean the entire team. They are better with MP on the court. And, uh, you know, seriously, you'd know that if you watch the game. <sighs> Yo, don't we got a movie to talk about? <laughs> oh, my. Were you upset because MP clapped back at you on social? Huh? You didn't think he had it in him, did you, Jay? Come on, man, admit it. You got this kid pegged all wrong. I got him Hopefully he's not exactly pegging me at all. Wait behind Shep, and I got you pegged exactly where you belong, off the shelf! No offense, actually, you know, we just have a commercial break to go through, so... None take. I still love your movies. All right. We'll be back right after this. Okay, you know, I just gained a little respect for him. Not that I think he's any better of a person or anything, but I appreciate he's in our corner. We definitely need more of that, so... That's number two. We've got Jake Duvall. We've got Lozo the Crown. Our internet presence is starting to, uh, you know, kind of grow a little bit. Right on, on time. time. What's up, Olive? <laughs> well, I guess you know I'm here to see Othello, right? Indeed, I do. Yeah. And he's ready for you if you want to cool, head up. Cool. Thanks, Olive. Yeah, of course. Elevator's still in the same spot, right? All right. Just making sure. So... How are things? It's a big complaint. That's good. Conversation here. I thought you might be anxious, confused, upset. Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals, and I'm still not starting. So, I mean, that's how normal people would feel. I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> Is this funny to you, MP? Nope. It's the farthest thing from it. Now, is this something that you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right up until this point. Don't start making the wrong kind of waves now. Now, I'm, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella, but I feel like I've been giving you the truth and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from day one. I mean, from my first day with this team, I have done everything that you've asked and you insisted that I follow your lead and I did it, man. I did it. I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. <laughs> What's up with the attitude, this, dude? We just completed our challenge. Business, MP. I get that. Being impatient. I get the business part. It's been five it. games. I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, de mutual decision. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? You're right. You're right. <sighs> I'm sorry. I read the room wrong. I 
I appreciate your apology. It's not like me to hold grudges, but we good. We good. Just do what Freddy asked for now. All right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Oh, I'm good, man. Be good, man. Be good. Okay. I see you around. Yeah. MP. Keep your head up. Your time's coming. I promise. I haven't heard that before. No, but seriously, I feel like uh, I don't. I don't know. I feel like most of the the you know cutscenes and things have been really really good this year. That was felt a little out of pocket. Five games ago, Coach gave us a goal and he said, "Hey, get get the the two leadership takeover you know challenges complete and play in five games, and then we'll talk about you getting your starting spot." Now we've done that, and I mean, yeah, we got to have the conversation, but we came in. A little hot there. I feel like that was a little too, uh, I don't know. Had a little bit too much animosity on it. A little bit too much sass on it. It's alright though. We're just gonna let our game do the talking. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Right on time. Number Ready one thing start. we could do is just keep working, baby. So we're gonna go hit Brickley's gym. We're gonna do a three-point challenge. Dude, we are so good at this now. You need to hit four in a row and that gets you the three-star points. One, two, three. With the bonuses, it works out. Come on, don't miss this one, Trev. Four. There it is. All right. Anyway, yeah. So we got this, and I think we got a meeting with Ashley after as well. It's better not be something stupid like hey, the here. Sports Illustrated, Illustrated now. Kids okay, I'm coming over cover. Right now. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where would you like 50 me to grinds sit? Anywhere? Let me know. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching my dogs. <laughs> They're. You know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they, dogs, plural. Sorry. The Basset Hounds and Benny and Bjorn, they're fighting again, as per usual. And then that agitates Frida. So now she went and she stole Agnetha's squeaky because she's a chewer. She likes to chew. And now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs. But <laughs> anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? Mm hmm. I don't. It doesn't matter. So I lined something up. All with right. You. All it's right. John. Luck. Okay, he is perfect That's for this. He is nice. He's easy. He's helpful. He's just like my little baby. How many dogs does she have? Uh, and he's going to make you look great. He's going to do it today. Once once I give him a call. Once because obviously call, it is I only like, if you think I it's a good like idea. I feel like you gave him a call already. Yeah, did you or did you not? I just thought, I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs or is this something... No, a new little hobby. Jonas is Ricky. And then Jenny's Mila. Okay. I'm Benny. And you're Bjorn. But you got a little bit of Frida in you. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Frida so would. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this uh, meetup. And I will meet up with John. How's that sound? A true Bjorn. Yeah. This got weird. Sure. Okay. Oh, so wait hard. <laughs> so I like her so a lot. Wait. <laughs> so I guess every day we can take a pick oh, with Lozo cool and be able to get free VC. Okay. Well, that that was easy. That's all we got to do. And now we're going to head to John Luck's office at the local news station and go do this puff piece interview. And then it's going to be time to get to our next game. Curious to see where we're going to be playing. Hopefully a little bit more of a uh, important role on the squad. A little bit more playing time. John Luck. Hey, MP, how are you? This guy's I'm a my man John. big What's fan. going on, man? All right, all right. You chilling? Uh, duh, I'm chilling. I'm here doing all right. All huh? right. Hey, listen, you'll tell Ashley that I was here on time, right? Well, early, right, actually? Yeah, bro. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. You scared me, man. No, no everything's <laughs> fine. Everything's fine. She just, she scares me a little. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Bro, she's a sweetheart, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I, you know, I'm missing couples therapy because she said this was more important, so. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, hold on. You know we could just, like, reschedule. I can come no, back another no, time. No, no, no. Are you MP, sure? No, it's fine, MP. Oh, right? There'll always be another therapy session, right? All right. Okay. Poor guy. Let's get started. 
So, you've had a little time now to get acclimated to your new team and your new city. How have you felt adapting to this new environment? Hmm. Ooh. I don't know if that's the right answer. We've been going well, with a lot of Trailblazer answers, but... And I'm still figuring out my place here. Would you say that's because of you or external factors? Um... Um... I say it's external factors. Honesty. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I'm the same guy I've always been. You know what I'm saying? But because of how things went down on draft night, I got a little bit of a uh, uphill battle here. That does sound tough, but would you say that maybe that's unfair to you? Nah, nah, nah. First off, that's, that's, that's life, and that's not how I view things at all. You know, fear ain't got nothing to do with this at all. So all I'm going to do is keep being me and those uh, external factors that you were talking about. Um, they're going to turn into my favorite sooner or later. They're going to fix themselves. Okay, so we've been tiptoeing around this a little bit, so let's get into it. Uh -oh. Obviously, there are some people who thought that the team made a mistake drafting you. I mean, you did hear booze on draft night. Yeah, I did. But you've also gotten some support from some pretty prominent voices. Mm -hmm. Jake Duvall, for one, has been very vocal yes. about his appreciation for you. He's kind of a what weirdo, but I appreciate like him. That mean? Um, who wouldn't want the endorsement of a superstar? Jake, he mean, it means a lot. Jake knows the game. Oh, man. You know, John, I can't even lie, man. It, it, it means the world to me. You know, an endorsement from Jake Duvall. The Jake Duvall. I mean, anytime anyone of that stature gives you a compliment, it means the world. He does have a lot of influence in this town. Exactly right. But it's, it's so much more than that, you know? Like, Jake knows the game, man. That cat has been watching a lot of ball, you know what I'm saying? And he can see what I'm bringing to the game, you know, as well as the team. It's a pretty um, good answer. We, we're talking hard work, um, dedication, and, and a, a genuine desire to make this city and this team the best that it can be. Okay, then. Last question. Uh -oh. Now that you're finding your footing on this team and with the fans, mm -hmm. if you look ahead to the end of the season, where do you see yourself NBA and champions. this team? Ooh. Um, okay. How about this? Mm -hmm. I can either give you the same boring answer that everyone else <laughs> gives you, <laughs> or I could talk to you about where I see myself in this city a year from now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, your readers might find that a little bit more interesting. Well, okay. Sure. I can pivot. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in this city? What's next for MP? Want to be a, uh, have a positive impact in the lives of the people who live here. This might not be my hometown, but it's my town now. This might not be my hometown, but this is my city now. You know what I'm saying? And the good news for everyone living here is that their lives about to get a whole lot better. That's a bold claim. Very bold claim. I mean, here, I'm going to let you in a little bit on my little philosophy. If I run with you, I run with you. Mm. Like, to the wheels fall off, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to lift up all my brothers and sisters in the city, John. And you can only do that by getting them chips. You know what I'm saying? Championships. So I'm all about the helping hand, you know, making sure my people are good in their day-to-day. So that right there, that's what excites me about the future. You know what I'm saying? Showing everyone that MP is more than just a superstar. He's a man of the people. Hmm. Well, thank you, MP. It's been great spending time with you. Likewise, man. Hey, now tell Ashley I said hello, and uh, I'm sorry. For what, bro? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, check this out, John. Oh. Let's take this one day at a time. Okay. All right? You'll get there, man. And uh, send the best to the missus, all right? Okay. Will do. Thanks, man. Brother. Okay. That was a good interview. I liked our answers there. One thing I do like, so the, the voice actors are fantastic this year. Not Maybe not fantastic, but they're much better than what they've been before. Ooh, Coach Graves, love you to stop by my office when you get a chance. There's something I need to tell you. Hopefully it's a good thing. I, I feel like the voice acting is pretty good this year. It's better than it's been in past years and stuff. But I hate how when you do the Trailblazer answer, it turns really brash and like, I, I don't know, it completely changes up his personality. Like you could, you could speak normally and just be confident, and maybe a little cocky without turning into an asshole. And I, I feel like he, I don't know, he completely switches up personalities whenever you choose those. And I like some of the, the answers sometimes, but just not the way he delivers them. So anyway, let's go speak to coach. Well, there you are. Here I am. Didn't think I'd see you so soon. Coach Graves? I'm a little nervous, but yeah. He came in with a big smile today. Yeah. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay, but isn't he like a happy guy though? Uh, yeah, true, but I think you're good. Okay, okay. That's good news. Thank you. Why don't you head up? He's ready for you. All right. Thanks, Olive. 
You're very welcome. Thanks as always, Olive. You're my shining star in this scary building. The only one I come in here and know you're gonna have a smile on your face. We'll see what hey, happens here. Have a seat. How you doing, coach? What? I said, how you doing, coach? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, how you doing, man? Oh, great. I'm great. What's going on, man? First time we met, you gave me a speech about Tribe being the greatest group of all time. This don't sound like Tribe. <laughs> I just don't want to be closed-minded and thought I'd try some new stuff out. All right. Expand my musical palette. How you digging that so far? I don't know yet. But, uh, look, obviously I didn't ask you here to talk about music and, uh, not one for speeches, so I'll... <laughs> I'll just say, uh, congrats. You're running with the starters next ah, time out. Stop playing with that. Let's go. Oh. Hey, you've done everything right and then some. But you can't let up, though, Benna, all right? Benna, that is not an issue at all, coach. But oh, I have our best game ever. Money up on that board in the locker room, man. We're really excited for you, MP. You just keep doing what you're doing, and this is just the beginning. I got you, coach. <laughs> Let's go. So see, this is where I'm kind of like, eh, like why, why do we freak out at Othella and throw up a hissy fit? We hadn't even talked to Coach yet. That that whole section of it kind of didn't didn't make the most sense. Uh oh, I want you to use this as fuel tonight. Watch it from Ricky. This is gonna be something from Shep, isn't it? Top takes daily, of course. Okay, that works too. Can't wait to see what he has to or hear what he has to say. Big news. Big, big news. Rookie standout MP will be making his first appearance in the starting lineup tonight. Quicker than many NBA insiders predicted, which begs the question, is this MP's I told you so moment? Stan, you've been hanging with JJ too long. <laughs> Rookie standout? Are you okay? All right, well, I'm guessing that you would not be calling this his I told you so moment then. I told you what? That's my president <laughs> of basketball operation is forcing me into the starting lineup so he doesn't look bad. Oh, wow. come on, Kendrick. That's not fair. Why not? Why not? We already know the hash and the little PR scheme to make MP and the front office look good. This could just be part of that. <sighs> that. That's a completely separate issue. I know their top assistant, Wayne Graves, really, really well from my time at Duke. He knows and everybody believe from me, Duke. He'd never join a staff where the front office dictates who starts. That's not how things are done over there, point blank. And I know, because I'm plugged in. Well, then are you ready to say right here, right now, this is his I told you so moment? Mm. I, I wouldn't go that far. And so oh, MP come on. Moves, he's better than Shep. He's mm. not in a position to say I told you so to anyone. That's what this drama is like all about that. in the first place. Even J.J., even JJ agrees with me. <laughs> MP hasn't proven anything. I, I, I didn't say that, Perk. I didn't say that. MP deserves to start. All I'm saying is he's got a long way to go before he makes fans in the city forget about Shep, who's had an excellent start to his career, too. Yes. Until he puts Shep in the rearview mirror, these comparisons will continue to haunt him. We JJ, need to play Shep what? again. I'm actually proud of you. You got most of that right. Most of that. I have my moments. <laughs> and MP... I would love for you to prove me wrong, brother. Believe me, I got love for everyone in the association. That's definitely that's not, not true. true. Not true. <laughs> but the lights are only going to get bigger and brighter from here. Can you handle it? I've got some big time doubts. Carry on. I look forward to you switching up, Kendrick. I know it's coming one day here very, very soon. All right, we got to go to the locker room, talk to Coach Graves. I was heading this... Oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Almost forgot it's been a minute, but uh, we are going to get a tattoo to honor our uh, our new starting spot here. Dude, this Reaper is, is dope. All right, I'm going to get the Grim Reaper here. I don't know where I want to put it, though. Would the shoulder be pretty cool? I kind of feel like the shoulder's... The shoulder's not bad. It's kind of a circular tattoo that goes around the shoulder. You know, kind of warps it a little bit, but I, I, I don't I don't think that's bad. We're working on our sleeve here. I feel like this is a good one to have up on the shoulder. All right, we're going to place that. Let's get ink, baby. Grim Reaper with the basketball. We're coming for everyone's careers. We're, we're, we're coming, to, coming to kill everything, so 
All right, feeling good. Got some new ink. Let's get back to the arena and let's get to our game. Man, you know what? For our, our first game starting, we got to come correct too. Let me, uh, can we see a watch under this? You can't really see a watch underneath long sleeves. So that doesn't make sense. I'm going to get, uh, let's get a chain. We got silver on our jacket. So I'm going to go with silver here. Get a couple of rings. So you can get like wedding rings and stuff. You can get a ring on your, your ring finger. That's interesting. Maybe here soon for me, potentially. But yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Can we see bracelets anywhere? I don't know if I like those anyway. I want something simple. So we got a leather jacket. We got a little jewelry. Let's see. Maybe some shades. Do we want to wear shades indoors? I mean, that might be a little douchey, but we could go for it. <laughs> All right, we're good. we're gonna go for it. I don't know where to get. Where do you get like skinny jeans? Hey, Have a look are they they aren't gonna be from Under Armour, are they? I mean, we could maybe get some like camo pants or something, but these are like joggers. Like I want I want some jeans. Oh, Swags has some moto pants. All right, this this is what I was looking for. All right, that's I mean that's a fit. That's not bad. We'll take it. It's decent. I I. I Wish we had, honestly, I, I really wish we had better um, suit options. I wish you could get a really well-tailored, like, fancy suit. I haven't found any. Maybe I'm not looking in the right stores. But the the one, whatever, whichever one's, like, right right here somewhere. I don't even, I don't even see it. There's one in here that it, it's just, it's not. Drip Brothers, I think, it's, there, there aren't good options. If we come in here, may, maybe they've added stuff since we were here. But yeah, see, like, there's just a jacket and a shirt. Like, I want some crazy stuff, and they, none of their stuff really fits that well. But I, mean, I guess those, those aren't terrible. Some are a little too baggy, though. I mean, I, we, we could actually work with these. We're, we're gonna work with these in future days. We, we can make some fits, potentially. But I also wish they had more, more options. I want, like, crazy three-piece suits and wild, you know, additions to them. And I, I, I want some furs and some crazy leather and all kinds of weird stuff. Heading into the stadium, our first time as a starter. Hopefully, people actually care about us. I'm really curious if we're going to be able to hit the, uh, the runway walk and actually have some photographers take photos of us. Now, I also, before I forget, I almost forgot again, we do have one more thing. Dude, this has been a long intro to a game. Uh, we have, um, we've got two badges we need to put out there if we want to. So we've got a shooting badge. We already have comeback kid. We could turn that into a silver. We've also got a defensive badge here. Box out for good rebounding. Pick dodger. I feel like this, this is, that, that that's pretty good not gonna lie i also really like menace when guarding and staying in front of an opponent their attributes will drop if good defense is being played i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that or do we want to try to save these recover from and go back up for another jump upon landing successfully steal from ball handlers boost speed and leaping ability when chasing down an offensive play i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go with this one that looks good to me i'm gonna save our shooting badge let's get a, a tier two shooting badge for our next next badge here all right this is it what's good people y'all care about me no I went out and got this fire fit for not a single one of you to pay attention to me. One day I'm going to earn your respect. Trust. All right, guys, I'll make this quick. Right. Now, yeah. as we all know, <laughs> we this look is our beloved rookie MP. Ridiculous. First game in the starting lineup. Let's go. Speech. 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 You guys are one step ahead of me today. What's new, coach? <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. MP, it's all you, kid. Rally the troops. Okay. You know. Not really setting me up for success there, Coach G. <laughs> but it's all good. Y'all already know what it is. Now just remember. <laughs> it sounds so unnatural. Games, you get career thousand if you're lucky. But only won't be my first start. So don't mess this up out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing with y'all. That's why I rock with y'all, for real. Y'all always keep me honest. Uh, is this speech going to end anytime soon, Rook? We got to shoot around. I got you, Coach. Let's bring it in. <laughs> yeah. Went on three. One, two, three. Win. Do we better win? Come on now. All right. Time to get changed. Ooh, you've earned badge upgrades. Which category would you like to add them to? We've got four upgrades. Really? I'm gonna do all shooting. Apply points. Are those are those straight up four four badges? We have five shooting point badges available now. We can get agent three improves the ability to make pull up or spin shots from three. Deep range shot taken along the baseline of the court receive a boost whether it is off the dribble or off a catch. Gives an additional shot boost when consecutively achieving excellent releases on jump shots. Increases the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail 
to properly contest. I'm going to do some research before we apply these. I w I'm not an expert. I want to hear experts' opinions on which ones we should get. Those all sound pretty good, but I'm sure some are a little bit better than others. So let's go play our first game. And we get to play at home, baby. Look at all the fans out here, either hating or supporting. I appreciate it either way. Even security's giving us the look, giving us a little, you know, go out there and get them type of thing. Let's go, dude. Very, very excited for this. I know not everyone in this building likes me. And you don't have to. Eventually, you're going to love me. I'm, I'm sure of it. So, hope they're going to be able to get a good... Uh, Good performance for our first one here. I'm feeling good. Not going to be going back to sit at the bench. We are going straight to the tip. Let's go. Oh, it's a Halloween game, too. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, my goodness. First shot, too. Let's go. All right. Quick 3-0 lead. It's going to play some good defense. Going to make some, some smart shots. Going to pass the ball. Not going to try to do too much here today. Just going to play our game. Ooh. Oh, cherry pick. It might, take some time, might be able to go baseline. Nope. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. We're good. Give it back to, to LaMelo. Here we go. Come on, man. You got to hit me on the run there. Little pick and roll. Roll. There it is. Got to work as a team. All right. That was a little sketchy. I got nervous about the shot clock, but hey, we're good. All right. Great start. Great start. Here we go. Oof. With the ball. Nobody. The oh, that was a. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> there, that didn't just happen. I was gonna say that that was a that was a bad pass right there, and it was, but it it worked out for us. Are you kidding? I don't think I've ever seen that happen in this game before. Plumley calls for the ball. I'm late on the dish, and then he drops back behind him. There's our pass. Hand and it tips it. Off the glass and into the basket. <laughs> Bro, that is so incredibly lucky. Hey, where's my assist on that, man? Come on. I deserve an assist. Here we go. I'm open. Come on. You can't leave me open like that. They, they weren't sure what their, you know, assignments were and things. They had two guys running into each other. Nah, man, we're going to take advantage of that. I will say their offense is looking nice, dude. They've, they've been... Kind of running through us a little bit, so got to make sure we get some stops, which it looks like we were able to do right there. Take it to Mello. Not gonna hit us down low. Pick and roll. I'll just take it all the way myself, baby. Could have could have thrown the assist as well, but we're good. Dude, we're having a great game. That's fine. We're having such a good game. We don't even need to touch the ball to put it in the basket. We can bounce it off of people and make it. Ooh, they're getting frustrated. Here we go. Come. Little pick and roll. Come on. Forced that a little bit. Not the best release. Shoot. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Good plays. Good plays. Good plays. Look for the drive. We're getting missed a lot on our, our drive. I'm making good drives here and nobody's hitting us. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that pick there. We got a block though. All right, let's go. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Push it. In the corner. Come on. Let's go. They're going to call a timeout. They're trying to ice us, baby. They got to cool us off. We're going to head back to the bench. Dude, A minus teammate grade in the first quarter. Having extra playing time is going to be absolutely crucial. 11 points, three for four from behind the arc. Man. And we've got our takeover. I'm about to, if we stay in, I've, I've got a feeling coach is probably going to take us out. He's going to take us out. That's unfortunate. That's all right, though. That was a great first quarter. And we're going to keep just absolutely dominating this game. With Harrison Barnes. Wide open again. I mean, I'm not going to stop. I, I don't know what you expect me to do. They keep giving me space. I'm just going to keep knocking them down to 38 to 11. What a start. What a first game. Nope. I'm not getting picks. I'll stay right on you, Davis. Extra chances that they're creating. Oh my goodness, dude. Just killing it. We got our takeover back. All right, I'm activating it next, next possession. We're just going to start firing threes. Give me a pick. Give me a pick. Give me a pick. 
Where's the pick at? I want like a good pick. Get him off me. Screen by McDaniel. Just five on the clock. And again, Woo! we'll take it. The ball is contagious. Everyone feels confident and knows they'll get touches, which makes the game fun. That Try to play some good defense too team. down there amongst yep. the bigs. We're all right. We know how important we're still on fire. Let's go. Thank you for your report. Break last off season, the Hornets decided to I mean, don't have to go for a three. We could take it down inside too. The screen, ball with it, picked up by Davis. We got the team takeover. Hey, I've got me setting picks for Lamelo, just cutting to the basket. I mean, this this is probably the easiest game we have ever played here. This is insane. Outside, Davis takes a three. Not my house, baby. Let's go, Coach Carter. Ah, oh, that would have been sick. Okay. We, we probably shouldn't do that going forward, to be honest. Okay, well, yeah, we just we just paid for that. I mean, we're up by a lot. It's it's nothing really to worry about, but let's let's be a little bit smarter. Little screen and roll, baby. And that's going to be the end of the first half. An absolutely dominant performance, baby. I honestly, I really don't like team takeovers. I, I, I wish, can you turn off team takeovers? I don't like them. I, I don't like controlling the whole team. I like controlling him and focusing on him and doing our thing with him. We missed a couple of threes in the team takeovers because I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. It's not the type of 2K I typically play. Dude, just kill. Can you imagine the moment of just sitting on the corner of the court, just looking up at the crowd? You've got 21 points, shooting 73% from the floor in the first half. Like, it's just absolutely dominating having one of the, the best games of your life and just feeling, feeling great about it. Trying to play a little bit of everything. Oh, my goodness. Come on. All right. I mean, we got to lead, but we can't be giving up stuff like that. Let's go. Come on. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Screen by McDaniel. Just let me go right around him on the pick and roll. I don't know where that defense is. I'm not letting up though. Screen by Get through the picks. Oh my goodness, dude. Our D is on point too, baby. Watch the cut. Watch the cut. Ah, the finish there would have been nasty, dude. This this is the game of our life. All right, we need to make make both of these. Dude, it's so fast. And I feel like sometimes it lags a little bit. I don't know. It's weird. The, the free throws aren't easy. It's, it's, it's not guaranteed. We should have stuck with our first build with the 97 free throw. Just kidding. That was so dumb. Got a fast break opportunity. Oh, my goodness, dude. Speed's looking nice. I, I was going to try to dish it to somebody. Nobody cut, though. I'll, I'll cut. So we sat out until the fourth quarter. Three minutes left here. Kind of makes sense. Nice little cut there. Just going to try to get the ball moving. Let me maybe a little, little pick and roll action. Ooh. Inside. Didn't even use the pick like I was meant to. Did a little crossover there. Faked the shot, got him open. Dude, we're being a, I mean, we're making a lot of points. We're doing, being a great team player as well here today. Your boy can play defense on one end and then come down here. Dude, we smothered him on defense. Knocked him over. I'm surprised it wasn't a foul. And then come down to the other end of the court to the corner and just bust a three. Let's go. Let's go, dude. We're, we're running away with this one. Thought about trying to steal that there. What the heck? Kind of a sh shot. Rogier, the pass to Mark. Oh my goodness. Let's go! Bro, what am I doing? This is outrageous. Ooh, I thought he was gonna pass to him right there. We we're gonna be able to steal that too. They're trying to answer back with threes. They they've actually done a, a pretty good job. I I'm just I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep shooting here. Somebody cuts the basket. Oh, he left us a wide open lane to the basket there. We should have taken it. Pick it out. Five seconds, four seconds. Got you. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah. Oh. Leaving me open again. You can't do that. Ah, oh, dude. How do we miss that? That was fantastic. That was a pretty good release, too. All right. 15 seconds left in the fourth. I do believe. 
that is a uh, that's gonna be a wrap. I'm gonna take a three there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one down at the other end. Three, right here. Just kidding. We're not gonna have time to get it up. Almost. So you guys have it. That I mean, without a doubt, our our best game yet. Thanks to all the playing time that we had. Gained a bunch of fans. I'm pretty sure we earned a couple of new badges as well. So things are things are looking up, baby. 32 points, one rebound. Kind of a little light on the boards, but uh, four assists, 64% from behind the arc. Not too shabby. Shep Owen says, y'all realize NBA starter is the lowest bar possible, right? Sorry, but I'm not giving MP any flowers for doing his job. Hashtag built different. All right, bro. That's that's cool. I just went out there and, and dropped 30. Played absolute lights out, and you're just still... Okay. While you're sitting there tweeting to Twitter fingers, we're going to go talk to the press. Ooh, look. It was your oh, boy MP oh. in the starting lineup. They down bad, huh? Real bad. Dude's fish food against starters. Barbecue chicken. Two-piece, no season, or overcooked. <laughs> no sauce, <laughs> no napkins. It's dumb, Pook. What, it's not my fault you can't riff? <laughs> I can riff, but it takes a great artist to know how to edit. Oh, so you a great artist now. <laughs> they call me Shep Casso. No, they don't. If I said they call me Shep Casso, they call me Shep Casso. Okay. Thank you. I mean, I look forward to the first time we meet. I can't believe we haven't played each other yet. I'm coming straight off the court, man. I'm, I'm ready to talk to the press. Let's go. I'm not changing. I'm not showering, nothing. I stink. I'm wet. Sweaty. Give me Nate White. All right, man, you up first right here. Congratulations on your first start. You look very comfortable out there from the tip. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how did it feel? I mean, I dominated. You you should know how it felt. Felt natural. Whoo! Oh, thanks, Nate. I mean, it, it felt good. It felt natural, too, man. You know, I've been hooping my whole life, and uh, I've been starting basically my whole life, too. So being out there from tip, you know, I felt like, felt like being at home. You know, players talk about the speed of the game. Uh, did it take you any time to adjust to that? I've been ready. Man, not at all, man. Most important for me right now is minutes. Minutes, minutes, minutes. So the longer I'm on the court, the more accelerated my development is. You feel me? Plus, I don't get tired, man. I can go all day. Got that can good cardio. Can you share with us the biggest difference between college and the NBA? Hmm. Speed of the game, the players are better, but so am I. Hmm. The players are better. I mean, but, but so am I. I mean, you saw me in college, man. They couldn't check me there. At least some guys in the league may have a chance, but some of them don't, but most of them don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you didn't seem to have much trouble adjusting to the size of the NBA defenders. Nah, man, I played against bigger, stronger, faster cats since I was in like the fourth grade, man. It's this, this, this is nothing new. It's easy work. You okay, know? I wouldn't the go that far. Are, the harder they gonna fall when I cross the ankles up. We we don't cross people up though. We we don't we hardly dribble. Our dribble's uh, not very like good. Seems like we're done here, huh? All right. See you guys later. We'll take it though. I mean, I, with that performance, I think we earned that level of uh, confidence. So with that, I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. Looks like we want to head back to the office. Our team is waiting for us. Uh, we gotta change clothes. Maybe it was the fit, man. I don't know. Look good, feel good, play good, right? I think I think the, the leather jacket might have added a little confidence here. And uh, hopefully they're going to be able to keep it up in future games. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next one. Catch you all later. Peace out.